Hi guys and welcome to the Texas Fly Fishing Report. It is a hot evening here in a brand new old location and we're on again. It's been a while since I've reported and the reasons are mostly good and somewhat bad but anyway we'll get to that in a minute. What I want to do is welcome you to another venue, a new venue and in the future a permanent venue for the Texas Fly Fishing Report. We come to you now from inside a 1970 Airstream Safari, 23 footer, single axle, and I've rebuilt with my wife, we rebuilt this trailer from the rubber all the way to the roof. And we are in progress on this, we've owned this trailer for a number of years, and finally push has come to shove and time has compressed into a meaningless pile of dribble with the uh, virus so we have time on our hands to work on this trailer and get her across the finish line we call this our mountain lake river beach house and so that's what it's going to be for us guys i got to tell you it is so hot here in texas and especially north texas i just got to get a little refreshment to go along with this report the airstream we've owned it for golly a long time 15 years and after I got cancer five years ago I just went through my fifth anniversary of um, being diagnosed so all these anniversary things will start popping off here um, but anyway that was July 7th 2015 it's 2020 five years ago uh, I disappeared off the planet for a while with all that and all those problems and, and all that that went on but I'm back strong uh, and in the interim we lost track of what we were doing on the airstream kind of slowed down and had her in another location well we brought her home she's in our driveway and all the work you see here uh, what you can see i'm not going to show you. you might i got another camera going so you might see some of this stuff over here i did this um over many 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 years and so we're finally having this convergence of, of a situation where we can finish this trailer and it will be the fly road less traveled for us soon let's get to the texas fly fishing report shall we enough dribble well it's super hot so you can still catch fish you start early in the morning and for me it's carp on lake ray roberts and i've been going trying some other lakes throughout this year as you see from past videos um, but um, you start early and you finish early you're out by noon or one the water temperatures on the flats when the water is only a few inches deep is gets up to 90 degrees so the fish just come off the flats by they start coming off about 11 a.m by noon you're really pretty much done you might pick up some stragglers at between noon and one but they're daisy chaining in the morning here catching fish is pretty pretty darn good right now and we're speaking of carp uh, here in north texas um, i went to another lake bridgeport out west of uh of denton and caught buffalo and had some shots at some monster gar i don't know if i can get wide enough but it's they were this big um, and they would chase after that fly and try to get a hold of it but it never it never wrapped on those guys to the point where I could actually hook one for real or at least snag one in the in the mouth for real and have a chance so uh, that's sticking in my mind is something I want to go back to but what I'm going to do is run the TPWE scroll at the end this is a short sweet report um, as you <coughs> see I still have a little residual here As you let that scroll go by, just slow it down or speed it up to get to what you want to know. That's provided by Texas Parks and Wildlife Department. I have a couple of tips coming out here pretty soon that I'm going to do. This is not air conditioned yet. Air conditioner's there. It's not air conditioned yet. So we got a ways to go. It's pretty hot. It must be about 95 and 80% humidity here. Um, so what I'll do is uh, maybe do those from inside the fly shop. As you go through the reports, they're broken down by region at the end. Um, if you get the chance, please go to www.texasflycaster.com because there's where you'll find 
information in writing about fly fishing in Texas and a lot more than just that. Whether it's information that I feel like I need to provide people about my experiences with fly fishing, cancer, and now I'm, I'm in on a bit of a conditioning kick uh, back on my bike um, and road bike, riding on the road. And so it's kind of dangerous to do in this situation, but I'm going to go out in the country and start riding and getting some mileage in so that I don't get fatigued on deck. A lot of, I hear a lot of these guys like CA, I forgot, it's like Richardson, I think it is, um, talking about having leaning posts and all that on, on polling platforms to lean back and relax and get weight off his legs. Well, there's a better way, and that is to make your legs stronger. So that's my goal is to increase the core strength, make my legs stronger so that I can stay on the platform even longer when I get to the coast uh, in August, September, October. Um, because that's where we're going. And the reason we left the coast and where I left off and why it's been so long since I've been here is, well, I was in a freak accident on the coast when I was there. And I don't know if you can see this right here, but that is a, and it kind of reshaped my leg actually. Cut some muscles loose and everything. I got hit by a 300 horsepower uh, propeller on a 300 horse horsepower outboard and this is my souvenir I get for the uh, for the accident that was about 10 stitches two layers of stitches all the way down to the tendons which I got to see those it's really kind of cool when you get to see what the inside of your leg looks like but that was what set me back about a month right there with my with my reporting and stuff is that little scar right there so it uh, it's healing nicely let me see if I hope it's in the picture healing nicely and I'm gonna put a propeller over here, right here, a tattoo, and have my very own prop scar. How's that sound? Pretty cool? I don't know, I like the idea. Anyway, guys, don't kick a prop when it's moving. It was, no, nah, that isn't how it happened, but actually it was an accident, and accidental, and, and uh, there's a lot of remorse um, for the person who, who did it, um, unintentionally and everything, but um, just one of those weird deals that happens. Um, but that was a huge setback for a while. That was that just closed up about a week ago, finally. And uh, so we're back and rolling. I can get it wet and do all this other stuff that I do um, on a typical fly fishing uh, guided trip, which I do guide for carp on Ray Roberts sometimes. And then uh, I'll be glad to be anybody's guest on the coast if they'll they'll foot the bill. I'll definitely uh, bring the boat. So let me know. Thanks for watching. If you want to be put on the hotspots, hit me on text at 940-380-0408 and I will add you to my hotspotting. It's, uh, it's just plain hot right now. Not a lot of spots, but um, things will, uh, will pick up and definitely in the mornings. Get out in the mornings if you want to catch fish, whether it's bass or carp or whatever. You can find bass shallow. You can find gar shallow. You can find all kinds of stuff shallow, but you got to get there early and that's the great thing about that is you get out early too and you have the rest of your day to, to do whatever you got to do as far as uh, homework work from home or work on the airstream or whatever but um that's it for now guys watch the scroll www.texasflycaster.com you'll get some more information about topics that are related to this and that are not related to this because i'm a writer professional writer and photographer so you never know from from here <laughs> where we're going next it could be welding it could be anything but you got to check the website to find out thanks for watching guys cheers to you have a great rest of july i'm not going to do reports if they're not worth doing reports i just i don't have any kind of uh, financiers or any kind of uh, sponsors breathing down my neck saying i got to produce content so it's so hot right now all i'm producing is sweat yeah. thanks for watching have a great week Watch that scroll, text me, and check out the website, www.texasflycaster.com. We'll see you soon.